you have a Windows computer yet want to utilize Android apps, you may do so with the help of Bluestacks. This paves the way for everyone to use their favorite Android app or game on their Windows PC. Bluestacks is usually reliable for most people but if you're having a problem with it on your computer, like a black screen when it's trying to load, this video is for you. It is highly suggested that you restart your computer before doing any of the troubleshooting actions. This will restart the computer and clear off any temporary files that might be corrupt and causing the issue. If your computer has both a dedicated graphics processing unit and an integrated graphics processing unit, the latter should be used first. Select Run in Integrated Graphics mode from the context menu that appears when you right-click the Bluestacks shortcut. Verify whether you're still seeing the dark screen while using Bluestacks. If you're able to run Bluestacks without encountering the black screen issue, you should make the change permanent by going to the NVIDIA Control Panel or Catalyst Control Center and selecting Bluestacks as the default graphics processor. If you're running Bluestacks and suddenly get a black screen, a faulty or outdated graphics driver is likely to blame. Therefore, it is highly recommended that you update the graphics driver on your Windows 10 machine to the most recent version. Right-click the Windows icon on the taskbar, click on Device Manager. Expand the Display Adapters field. Right-click on the NVIDIA adapter you want to uninstall and select Uninstall. Click OK when prompted to uninstall the device. This will remove the adapter from the list and uninstall the driver. To install the latest driver for your graphics, restart your PC and it will automatically search and install the missing driver. Bluestacks may not function properly if your graphics card settings aren't optimal. If this is the case, consider turning off threaded optimization in the settings menu for your graphics card. Open NVIDIA control panel. Select Manage 3D settings from the left pane. Click the Program Settings tab and select Bluestacks from the list. If it's not there, click the App button and select Bluestacks front end. Locate threaded optimization on the list and set it to off. Click Apply to save changes. issue appears just while using a certain Android app with Bluestacks, removing the app can help. On the Bluestacks window, click on the blue color home button. Once you click on the home button, you will be able to see the option install apps on the home screen. Hover the mouse near install apps and it will then show three vertical dots. You can click it and select uninstall, where you can simply right click the icon of the game and click uninstall. Try reinstalling the program if the aforementioned solutions don't work. To reinstall Bluestacks, follow these steps. Go to Bluestacks official website. You can either select the installer you want from the options on the right side, or let Bluestacks auto detect the right installer for you according to the OS you are using. Once the download has finished, open the downloaded file to begin the installation process. Click on the install now button to kickstart the installation process. You can also pick a desired location for the install by clicking on the customize installation option. The micro installer will now download all the necessary files. Bluestacks will now be automatically downloaded, extracted, and installed. The Bluestacks engine will automatically open and you will now be prompted to complete a one-time initial setup process. When prompted, sign into your existing Google account or create a new one to get started. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.